deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Today, on PXT, we have a set of matches here tonight. But yes, we're going to start today off with uh, our first match. It is actually going to be the rivalry match again. That's right. Uh, apparently, Apple is not happy where he has been. He has uh, told us his um, hate for it at the moment. He is not happy that he is in the YouTube title division. And he demands that there uh, be some be a switch so in other words uh i'm actually liking the idea of this because they actually did steal the show the show was actually pretty cool with these two so in other words at bio war announcing the first match of bio war that's right it's gonna be ab cole versus adonis placement changing yes that is the those type of matches will happen at pay-per-views pretty much ab cole wants to challenge adonis for his spot in the pxc title division so if ab cole wins at bio war he will be in the PXC division to where Adonis will actually be dropped down to the YouTube division. I hope I said that right. Either way, here we are to our first match, Abkul versus Adonis. Oh, they inch save on here. Okay, well that's fun. <laughs> Alright, now that works. So, introducing first the Misfit for Life, the man that came second in to the PXT tile division, losing to Rodrigo at the end. But looking to probably get, a, may, maybe get a future rematch against Rodrigo, depending on what happens at Bio War. Which now Rodrigo would have to face Ugrit, which that's going to be a very, very interesting match. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Have Cole feeling like he was a little cheated from his match last week. Pretty much feeling like he should be in the PXT title division because he beat Adonis. But not liking his draw pick, now he's now challenging it and now is challenging Adonis for his side. This is not the match here tonight. We are saving that for Bio War because honestly, Adonis could win here tonight. And if he does, I mean, there you go. That would just sort of show it there. So that's why we're waiting until Bio War, seeing who can get the momentum for it. But now, this match is actually going to be for stipulation. That's right. Yeah, y'all guys thought, yeah, yeah, y'all guys thought this was going to be something else. No, this match is for stipulation at PXT Bio War. Adonis entering the ring. Adonis, a multi time champion everywhere. We have talked about his special day on, what was it, <laughs> Money in the Bank, which yes, we will have that type of show here as well, but that is not going to happen until a uh, little bit later in uh, the coming years. Right now, we have Adonis looking to make his debut here, that's right, well, not his debut, but looking to pick up a fucking win, honestly. I think Adonis has only won one time here in PXC. I believe he is one in two. I should probably keep up with their actual uh, rankings and stuff like that. Or their like track record. That'd be a good. One. I'll do. I, we will do that uh, later. <laughs> probably for next week. I'll do that, and then we'll put him in the like main cards and stuff like that. But yes, also just let y'all know that yes, this live stream they will not have music, but the edited version down will. Like we have the first episode edited already, so if you guys want to check that out, you guys can check that out. But right now, here we go. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think it. I don't know what happened there. I think it. Don, did Donis get attacked in the middle of like coming to the ring? Because what? What just happened there? Look at this. Look at this. Abcold. Boom. Oh. I think Abko's working out some frustration, but Ad oh, Adonis not gonna allow him to take advantage. Hits him with a drop kick, a one-legged drop kick. Oh, that was a big kick. Uh oh, Abko now coming at it. Abko, oh, good DDT right there. 
at pole. Again, as we stated before, not happy where he played. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's going with a springboard forearm, but did not get it. Ooh, bunch of reversals from both men. Both men knowing each other left and right. Sling blade right there from Adonis to Abko, but Abko quickly getting up. But Adonis not giving up. Time to react down with a cheap shot right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but Abko with his own cheap shot. Oh, look at this. Adonis getting to the corner. Abko looking to set up. Big slam there. Abko now taking control. Oh, Adonis elbowing him into the gut. <laughs> Abko kicking him in the gut to gain the advantage again and again. Just hitting him into the corner and throwing him to the middle of the ring. Oh, ooh! That hit the head. It looked like it hit the arm. Oh, big kick right there. Oh, oh, what's what's Apco going for? What's Apco going for? Oh, oh, that was a pretty cool. I like that. That was a oh outside dive. And there it is. That's one thing you gotta watch out with Apco. If you're gonna sling out of the ring, he is gonna come after you. Apco does not let anybody take any chances. He does not give anybody a chance to take advantage. Now Adonis apparently claiming the upper hand here. I got, oh, look at this. Oh, is he going for the hydro pump? My God. I thought he was going for the hydro pump pedigree, but he doesn't hit it again. Look at this, Adonis. Oh, hitting him with his own knee to the arm. Oh, but look at this, Adonis thinking that's enough. No, Apco not gonna quit just like that. He's not gonna give in just like that. And again, again, another cheap shot from Adonis to Apco. Now Adonis is taking control of this match. Adonis also is not happy. One, he didn't make it to the finals for the. Oh, oh, here it is. Oh, he was gonna go for the cans on, but Apco quickly reverses. What's Apco gonna do here? Oh, getting him to the corner. Oh, here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the Misfits. Special move. Mind sweep right there. Is that enough to put away the multi-time champion? No, Adonis is still kicking and Adonis is still going. Gets Adonis up. Abcole now. Oh, Abcole coming in with a series of strikes. Oh, big clothesline to end it off. What's going on here? What's going on here? Oh, look at this. Oh, was going for a gut shot to throw him overboard, but no, it didn't work. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. Here it is. Hydro Pump Pedigree. Here it is. One, two. No, Adonis is still up and running. Apple's going to really need it. Oh, there it is. Throws it to the corner. Oh, hits the gut. Oh, here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Here it is. We're about to see another mind sweep. That has to be it. That has to be it. There's no way. Here it is. One, two, three. And just like that, Abkul picks up another win and will pick the stipulation for their uh, division switch match at BioWare. Now, we won't find out the stipulation until next week, but we do congratulate Apple again, showing why he should be in the PXT division. And honestly, I can see why. That match got three stars. Holy shit. But congratulations to Apple. Congratulations. He did a great. Did phenomenal. But either way, we're going to head on to the next match of the night. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The next match, Bu Grip versus Rodrigo. Uh, we're gonna go on a small little break though because uh, food just got here, so we're gonna pick up a plate and then we'll be right back with Bu Grip versus Rodrigo. Thank you for sticking around. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, drop. <laughs> Actually, get a drop for two to five. Hope it's 
not that first one. I'm not my phone, my headset or something. I don't even know what my headset <laughs> Yes, I'm not doing the what's it called yet. Hold on. Oh, we introduce uh, View Grip into this match. That's right, View Grip. View Grip. View. I can't hear anything. There it is. We introduce View Grip into this match. That's right. View Grip, a former EXT champion. The game stipulation for BioWare. Yes, that is the only reason why the rivalries are being fought right now. Is because they're going to pick their stipulation for BioWare. So in this case, this is to determine how that match at BioWare is going to go for the PXT Championship. And now here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, we introduce to y'all. Waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, we introduce to y'all the one and only Blue Menace of PXT, Rodrigo! Oh, look at that. No pyro here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He's being the cocky little bastard that he is. Rodrigo being the first ever PXT champion for our show PXT. Being a little, I'm assuming he's a little bit annoyed that he has to face Rod or Bugrin. Sorry. Honestly, I don't blame him. Bugrip grip technically is the only man that has been Rodrigo that we know of. Mainly because of the first time we tried PXT. Then we went bankrupt and now we are back. They didn't fight face off against each other this second time around until tonight. So this is where this is gonna be interesting. Will Rodrigo be able to win the stipulation to pick a match in his favor against Bugrip? Or same thing, but by but for Bugrip. In other words, will Bugrip be able to win the match to make it easier in his favor? I'm a little fucked up right now. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm sorry about the commentary. Pizza was here, and I was like, "Hey, pizza!" Heck, I didn't even mute the damn mic. <laughs> That's how excited I was for the pizza. It's Little Caesars. We are not sponsored. Rodrigo, taking a lot of time for this, holy fuck. Just basking in his glory, god damn. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at this! Bill Rip not holding back! I, I swore I just told the refs to wear the fucking black shirt. What the fuck? I didn't even catch that in the last match. Oh, there it is. Bugrip Grip already taking control of the Blue Menace. Oh, look. Bugrip Grip looks like he just wants to embarrass the PXC champion, but Rodrigo's not going to have it. Oh, look at that. Look at this. He, he got out the top, but the PXC champion is not going to allow this. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh! Bugrip didn't like it. Bugrip did not like the taunting. Both men playing mind games with each other. Oh, God. Oh, here it is. Bugrip has him up. Oh, drops him face first on the apron. There we go. 
Reversing, looking to take advantage, looking to take advantage. Oh, big punch. Big ch Oh, no. Almost at a big chop. Rodrigo's saying, screw it. He's going back in. No. Rodrigo going for a bear hug against Bugrip. Oh, but Bugrip is too much of a powerhouse himself to get caught up in that. Oh, look at that. Another death press. And now throwing down on Rodrigo. Oh, big uppercut. Oh, now just stomping away on the hands of Rodrigo. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It looks like b -Rip is just trying to just mess with the, I guess, the arm in general of Rodrigo. Oh, so then he probably can't hit that discus clothesline. Not a bad idea. That or if he hits it, he's going to be hurt for a little while. Look at this, Rodrigo sending Bugrip to the corner and quickly gets him with a clothesline into the corner. And now it's all Rodrigo. Oh, look at this. Ooh, okay, I thought we were going to see a submission hold from Rodrigo to Bugrip. Oh, oh! I think Rodrigo was going to go for his brother's move here. Oh, no. No, 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 no! Oh, my God, unforgivable! His head hit all three of the turnbuckles. Oh my god, is Rodrigo okay? How the hell is he getting up? How, how is he still up? Oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, okay, I thought we were going to see the lava lance, but no. Not yet. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, sweeping the leg of Bugrip, and now Rodrigo's coming back at it. Ooh. Him with big knees to the side of Bugrip. Rodrigo now just taking full control, stopping away, and again, now just continuing to stop on Bugrip on the outside. Now scraping his face on the mat on the outside. We're at four. They are at a four on the ring out count. Rodrigo's just beating the shit out of Bugrip. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at that. The athleticism from Rodrigo. Just kips up to the top of him. Hits him with a big clothesline. Oh, my God. I wish we had fucking... <laughs> wish we had replays. Oh, look at this. The strength of Rodrigo. Running power slam! Is that enough? One, two, no! Rodrigo wanting to prove that this man is not the actual. Oh, big! It's a gurry to the face of Rodrigo. You grip looking to capitalize. I got big haymakers to the face. Just now, just jabbing in the head and then just slamming his face first onto the mat. No, oh, no, almost at the bugle. grip. Oh, big shoulder charge. He almost hit the bugle. grip. Oh no, this is close line. That has to be it. It has to be. Rodrigo dragging the former PXT champion to the middle of the ring. Here it is. One, two. No! Bugrip is still going. I'm actually amazed. I'm not going to lie to you. Boom! Big punch there. Oh. Bugrip missed big shots there. That probably could have helped. Oh! Big clothesline! Well, big clothesline! Oh! Beautiful move! Oh, look at this. Bugrip now going to the top. What's he going for? Big elbow to the back of the PXT champion. Oh, he's going for the pin. He thinks that's enough against Rodrigo. No, Rodrigo kicks out at two. And Bugrip getting him up. Bugrip, oh, oh. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is again. Here it is. We will see unforgivable. 
Wait, wait, what is this? Wait, what, what are we about to see? What are we about to see? Oh! Big kick to the face! Hey, look at this! Oh! Rodrigo kicks out! Rodrigo kicks out with a dirty pin! Oh, big net breaker! Rodrigo was not happy with that. Look at this, look at this! Big strikes from Bugrip to Rodrigo! We're going to the top. We want for Oh no! He's waiting for Rodrigo. Waiting for him to get up. And oh, he's gonna hit a crossbody. Gets caught though. Oh, big power slam. Go get him up and another discus for the win. One, two. How in the hell did Bugrip kick out of that? I am genuinely amazed right now. I cannot believe what we just saw. Ooh! Big shot, you got big punch. Look at this. This is a rematch of the making. Oh! Belly to belly suplex! Look at this. You whip. Really? Oh, look at that. Oh! Good dragons. Dragon tamer? I forgot what it's called. Either way. Oh, wow. The show practically just fucking manhandling Bugrip. whip. Oh, look at this, going for another bear hug against Bugrip. No, there's no way. There is absolutely no way that we're going to see a submission hold from Bugrip. Rodrigo really trying his hardest. No, but Bugrip is not getting out of this. Bugrip is going all in in this match. Oh, another death press, and now with the haymakers. Both these men do not want to give the other the time of day. Oh, and here it is, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to see... No! Oh, we're about to see another Unforgivable! Oh, here it is. We're about to see his brother's patent move. No! Both men have swapped their signatures. Oh, look at this. Picks up. View grip and... Oh, fall away slam. View grip right there. That has to be it. One. Two. And with that, View grip has put away the blue menace. He must be proud of himself. What are we seeing here? Oh. Oh no. Oh come on! Oh come on! Bugrip is frustrated! Bugrip is pissed off! That was a five-star match from the former champions. Damn, this is beautiful right here. Did you see this? He was picking up the win, but it wasn't even enough for him. Because one, it wasn't for the title. It was only for a stipulation. But I think he made his point fucking proven that he can take that title whenever the fuck he wants. And that he is the true PXT champion. What's going to happen now? We'll have to wait and see. The point is, uh, the next match is, uh, this is actually a decent one. That's right, it's going to be Super the Giant going against the King. It's going to be interesting. Oh, look at this. No entrances here tonight. Both men staring each other down. Oh, look at this. Both men showing each other the utmost respect at the beginning of this match. That's some good sportsmanship. That was the last thing I ever expected the kid to ever do. But now let's see what these two men can do. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay. Super. <laughs> oh, there's sportsmanship. Super's just treating it like a normal match. 
Oh, big chop! Big chop to the top of the head. Oh, another big chop to the top of the head of the kid. Oh, big knee now. Super is really targeting the head of the kid. But honestly, not a bad idea because the kid, you do not want to... Oh, oh, just missed, I believe, a drop kick. I don't know what we were supposed to see there. Oh, Super going for... Oh, Super... Super is really targeting the head of the kid. And he is just now manhandling. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. The shot. No, I'm just going out a little bit of taunting here. Oh, but, oh, the Super didn't like it. I don't think Super liked it. It up goes up down. God damn, I just want to point out, Super is a seven-foot giant, and he just tossed the kid like nothing. Uh oh uh oh What is he here? Oh, just planting the kid down! My god. This is just a clear reminder of what the kid did to the fucking devil. Oh, look at that! Oh my god! He just set the kid flying. Super is oh, oh misses the big boot. Oh, 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 oh look at oh look at oh yes the big man up cosmic whirlwind. Is that up one, two no super kicks out. My God he lifted <laughs> he lifted up a four hundred pounder holy shit. Go, go, go. Oh, what a flat line. And with that, Super goes out to the outside. Oh, we thought we were going to see an outside dive. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, what's this? It's a busting crab. Not going to do anything on the outside, though. And Super's nowhere near from tapping out distance of this match. Oh, not there. The, and oh, hits a leg sweep on the giant. There is the kill. Oh! The kill is going in with big strikes, but Super quickly reverses it. Super throwing the kid back in the ring. Looking to put it away nice and clean. Oh! Big neck breaker right there from the kid to Super! Another neck breaker! Looking. Man, both men are just targeting each other's heads. I think they're trying to disorient each other. Uh, sending Super to the ropes. Ooh, big elbow. And oh, there you go. Finally hit the clothesline to drop Super down. The kid doing a fantastic job. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The kid's ready right here. Oh, Super quickly reverses. Big, big punch. Oh, big clothesline. Sending him up. Dropping him down. The 400 pounder! Oh, shit! Oh, God. The 400 pounder on the top rope. Big elbow! Oh, my God. Check the man's spine. Check his spine! Ooh! It wasn't even enough. The kid was trying to block a shot from Super. It wasn't even enough. Super just bulldozed the block. A big shot to the head. Could this be Super's night? Could this be Super's first win here in PXT? It is Super Driver! Here it is! One, two, no, the kid kicks out of the Super Driver. It is. Big boo right there! Is Super going to go for another Super Driver? Yes, he is. It looks like he is. No! The kid's not going to allow it. The kid's not allowing it. Here it is. Oh! Another flat line. Oh, big drop kick. But it wasn't enough to drop. Super. Oh. He's just hitting flat lines now.
People trying to roll out. It's now on the apron. Oh, the kid going and punches. Oh, drop kicks him to drop Super on the map. Here it is. Both men on the outside now. Oh, Super picking up the kid. Kid quickly getting up. Avoiding danger zone there. But hits the legs of Super. No, Super's knees are on those uh, knee braces. The Super suffers through some knees problems. Oh! Man, we should just call him the Flatliner. Holy fuck. Oh, send Super back into the ring. Look at this, the kid. Looking to get everybody behind him. Now six. Oh! <coughs> Shit. That was a bad time to say that. I mean, and Pizza at the same time. Holy fuck. Big clothesline send the kid back outside and now throwing the kid. Oh! Oh! Shit! You want know, to point out that was a seven foot drop. This now just big kick. Super. Oh, God. Oh, the, uh, he, uh, I don't know what we just saw, but uh, he, he tried he tried going for it. Oh, look at this. The kid. Look at this. The kid now trying to show off. I think both men are a little disoriented at the moment. Oh. The super. Now he finally landed up a shot. The kid now coming back at it. Oh, the kid looking to make a comeback here tonight. Oh, there it is. Can he do it? Can the kid drop Super? Can the kid do it? Is he going to be able to do it? Oh, here it is. Another flatline. We have seen so many flatlines from the kid. Oh, there it is. There it is. Is he going to go for shooting? Comet! There it is! Connects! Is that enough for Super? One! Two! No! Super kicks out. The kid is, the kid's trying, oh, here it is. I think the kid's going for another, here it is, shooting comet, oh, misses it. He missed the shooting comet. Ooh, big shot there. Oh, another big shot there. And now, going the kid to the corner. Oh, big splash. Ooh, big splash in the corner. And now, targeting the legs of the kid, and the kid rolls out. Kid trying to get some um, Manta back and oh super just fucking shoulders him back to the outside. Oh my god, super's at the top. Is super going for a splash? No no no, he's waiting for the kid to get up. He's waiting for the kid to get up. And oh big elbow drop to the top of the head. The kid is the kid's really struggling at this moment right now. Oh look at this. Man, the, the just the fucking physique of Super. And looks like Super's gonna wanna end this with Super Driver. Oh, but oh! I think he almost hit it, but oh, here it is. Another flat line from the kid. Dude, I swear to God, the kid just keeps hitting the same fucking move again and again. And Super just keeps getting caught in it. There it is, that throws in the ropes. Oh, big bow right there! Oh, but that kid. Rolls out and Super's not gonna take it. Super's not gonna take it, but the kid. Oh, hitting him with a neck breaker on the outside. Honestly, you gotta give props to the kid. The kid is not gonna take a ring out count. He's actually fighting the shit out of Super. Oh, the kid blocked that big, I guess, body tackle? I don't know what the fuck that was. Super now coming back in the ring. Oh, big uppercut, big chop. Oh, headbutt. To the kid! Oh, what's Super going for? Oh, Super was going for a big boot, but missed it. Oh, the kid hits a big boot! Oh, look at this. Are we about to see another shooting comet? There it is! Is it enough to put away? No! His foot was on the rope. His foot was on the rope. Oh, I think he's going to go for the Cosmic Whirlwind here. No! He goes for... Oh! The double super kick to the face and to the back. Here it is. The super kicks to the head put away super. And just like that, the kid picks up, I believe, his third win in PXT. I got to do a double check on this. The kid picking up another victory against the giant known as super. But both men 
knowing that they got some good respect toward each other. This is actually pretty cool because I've never seen these cutscenes that they're showing. But like the show of respect thing. Never saw that, but I did like it. That was pretty cool. So we have just gotten word that apparently uh, the one and only Satoshi, the crime boss of PXC, has been uh, in talks with Ace. Apparently, um, Ace was a little bit upset with how the match ended last week, but Satoshi said it was just a normal match. But look, I can guide you. I can be your sponsor here in PXT. And I already got into good talks for you to have you go against the one, the only, CG. So this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> I, I didn't expect that. I was expecting them to actually like fight each other. But Ace, being being an up and comer, a newbie here in the wrestling scene in general, is I guess taking all the help he can get. But honestly, if this was me, I would keep my distance as much as possible. Look at that Satoshi being in the background for Ace. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. I'll be a hundred percent honest with you. If this was me, and there was. With the crime boss of PXT, I would be very, very fucking careful. So she's slowly making his way to the to the ring to where Ace just fucking bolted. Maybe that was a smart move, maybe to just keep his distance in case in case Satoshi was ready with a fucking steel chair. Gonna be, this is going to be very, very interesting to see. This was one thing I did not picture for this rivalry when I set it up. <laughs> Look at this Satoshi just being on the outside. Now, Ace is going to have to go against the Russian Viper of PXT. This man showed nothing, nothing! but dominance in his first time here at PXT. And with that type of mentality, he became the first ever PXT YouTube Championship, or champion, sorry. He holds it around his waist, and now he has to go against the Titan of PXT. Right. Now, surprisingly, we are not going to have a stipulation match between Titan and Seagill because both men said they did not want that. They just want to have a normal match. They both agreed on this. So, it is going to be Seagill versus Titan at PXT BioWar. As another match already announced, we saw that Titan won the Battle Royale for last week. So, that is the match that will be happening at BioWar. It looks like it will just be a normal championship title defense. From agreement from both men. Jill honestly has a oh god, he has yet to he is the only man I think now that is undefeated here in PXT. He has yet to be pinned in PXT. He's lost over the top row, but he has yet to be pinned. The same could have been said with Rodrigo, but Rodrigo got pinned. There it is. The Russian. The Russian Viper PXT going against Ace, the new up-and-comer. What does the what does Ace have in store for the White Viper? Oh, look at it! Look at this. Okay, already getting C. Jill in a submission hole, but C. Jill not playing it. Oh, big boo right there! C. Jill just showing his dominance here against the PXT. Well, correction against the new up and comer of PXC, and now again just showing his incredible in ring capabilities here in PXC. Look at this now, just throwing haymakers. I'm telling you, C. Jill is a goddamn monster here. Oh, but Ace looking to get a bit of an advantage here now. Look at this going for a springboard crossbody Atlantic. 
Can the kid be the first one to pin the White Viper of PXT? Jill throwing Ace to the corner and now, oh! Big knee shot to the corner base, but look, Ace was about to get caught with Tommy Grounds right there, but quickly reverses it. Eight, I gotta give props. Ace is actually keeping up with CJ. Oh, but CJ! Oh, CJ almost had Ace up. Ace now has CJ up! Oh, look at this. Oh! The inverted DDT! Oh my god! Why? How does he do this? He just saw Spring One dropkick! Here it is! One! No! Will the crime boss of PXC do anything to help? <laughs> We do anything to help out his uh, former opponent last week, I want to point out. That's, that's the only reason why I'm a little, like, sketchy on why Satoshi is helping out Ace. Right now, right now, see, Jill is really... Oh, heel kick right there! Oh, my God. Oh, look at this. I think Satoshi is trying to distract the ref at the moment. I think he is, but C. Jill was not going for the win. C. Jill is punishing Ace right now. Oh! Oh, look at this. Now, now Sato Satoshi is trying to get the attention of C. Jill, but C. Jill is too focused in this match. Oh, big boo right there. Now, the thing is, is Satoshi actually going to help? Oh, there is. Oh, big punch right there. I think Ace just hit his reversal there. Good shot there. And now. Oh, what's this? Oh, beautiful suplex. We just saw something beautiful from the kid here. Oh, big clothesline. That was the momentum, my boy. The momentum, boy, gets the YouTube Championship. One, two, no. CGL kicks out. That was a beautiful momentum, boy. Oh, we about to see another one. Here we about to see. No. Oh, springboard drop kick. Oh, what's that? The chair? Satoshi just threw in a chair. Oh, look at this. Four. Oh, that was a senton. Is that enough? One, two. No, see, Jill is not giving an inch. Oh, look at this, look at this. Ace, look at it. Oh! Wait, what is that? Oh, okay. Don't know what happened there. But now Ace has the White Viper up. But no, see, Jill, not giving into that. Oh, hell kick! Oh, look at this. Look at this, man. I'm telling you, see, Jill just... Oh, my God. He is brutal, but... He's an exceptional fighter in the ring. He knows how to fight, and he knows how to show off his power. Look at this, just taunting away to Satoshi. See, Jill just, just knows when to fight. He knows, oh my god. Man was trained by the late, great e -Jill, and now Ace rolling out of the ring to get some space from the Viper. No! Oh, look at that! The White Viper can fly! See, Jill is just... Holy shit. How the fuck was he in the YouTube shot? <laughs> I guarantee you, one day C. Jill will be a future PXC champion. Holy fuck, though. He is, like, dominating in this. This is insane. C. Jill not holding back at all. C. Jill throwing Ace back into the ring. Oh, Satoshi looking a little, little concerned right now. Oh, has got him. Oh, could this be Ace's moment? Go, oh, look at this. Look at the target of the leg to stop that heel kick. Oh. Oh, 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 look at this. Satoshi getting in the way. Oh, backbreaker right there. Satoshi got in the way to help out Ace, but C. Jill not nah, giving an inch. C. Jill looking to hit this. C. Jill looking to hit. 
Oh, what's this? Father! Oh! That was Father's Blessing, but the rope break! Oh, hell kick right there! Oh my god, CGL is still not done. Ooh! If we, if we reversed it. What? Oh! Look at this! Oh, look at this ace! Getting the reversal! Oh! Did we just see the suicide of Powell Driver from Ace? Oh, big kick there. Ace needs to capitalize on this. He needs to capitalize now if he's going to do this. Another suicide of Powell Driver. Interesting. Apparently him and Onyx trained with the same teacher. Oh, big drop kick right there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, okay. We thought Ace was gonna go for the Memento Mori, but not, not yet. There. Oh, both man getting space. And oh, Ace gets the upper hand. I gotta get props. Ace is doing an exceptional job against C. Jill. Oh, big clothesline though. C. Jill, C. Jill's still not holding back either. You got. I mean, I gotta get props on that. Big, big shots. Big shots. Big shots. And now, oh, big. Duplex, but still wasn't enough. Ace is getting saved by fucking rope breaks. I just want to point that out. This match would have been over a long time ago if the rope breaks were not saving Ace. Look at this, C. Jill. Waiting for Ace to get up. Going for a big shot here. Oh! How the hell is he hitting this shit? I'm genuinely, genuinely confused. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Could this be? Oh, no. C. Jill quickly rolls out. Ace, I guess, just trying to get some air. Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh, I thought we were about to see another... I think that was Father Sins, because that isn't the original... Oh! No, they're like... Oh, wait, what's this? What's this? Oh! That was a Northern Light suplex into a regular suplex. Oh! Big elbow shot. Uh oh, uh oh, are we gonna see Ace put away? Oh, no! I think Ace is a little day. Oh, there it is, the form! Oh, see Joe going to the top. What's see Joe gonna do? And there it is! Oh, big slam to the chest of Ace. And now, destroying Haymakers to Ace's face. Oh my god. Oh, Ace gained the advantage, though. I actually have no idea. Oh, Ace probably setting up. For, nope, he's still not setting up. For, oh, big clothesline. Oh, here it is, here it is. And, oh, throws him over the top. Oh, spy buster right there from St. Jail. Oh, St. Jail was getting distracted from Satoshi. And now a backbreaker. Ace getting the advantage. Oh! Shooting star press from just standing at his feet. Oh, but CJO kicks. That's it. And he'll kick right there. Is it up? Oh, the ref distracting. One, two. Even with that, it wasn't even enough. CJ still undefeated here at PXT and Al Satoshi coming in. Look at that. Oh, whoa. Wait, so Satoshi was coming in. I think Satoshi was trying, trying to give him notes, but Ace was just not having it. Ace, uh, Ace did not like the criticism coming from uh, Satoshi. Satoshi was trying to help, honestly. So maybe, maybe the crime boss of PXT actually has a heart. All right, but we have three matches next. Next match is going to be Gen X versus Devil. This is interesting because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with PXT. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to PXT. We are here now to see, uh, between these two men who have zero wins under their belt, uh, Gen X has been pinned numerous times here in PXT. 
Whereas Devil, uh, Devil, well, has been pinned, but he lost last week by countout. So that's where there's going to be interesting for Devil. Right now, Devil just seems like he sucks. <laughs> Let me see between the two. Which man can pick up the win at least? We've, we had talked to Gen X. Gen X says he is here for the next breed of wrestling. He's here for the new breed, and that is what he is. That is why he wants to fight the devil. He wants to fight him because one, he thinks he's a hoax. Two, he's a has-been. He's old. He doesn't need to be here anymore. And because of these words, you're able to get a match with the devil. Ladies and gentlemen, Devil has arrived. Oh, I went tight in there because I. Is it playing this theme song? No, it's not. Okay, I was confused there. I was like. How it seems like I can hear his theme song? I was about to be concerned. <laughs> the almost 10 year veteran here in PXT. Returning. To claim some more souls before he heads back to hell. There is almost no words for, to say about the devil. Everything that we have said about the devil has already been said. That's where it's like, what, what more can be said, man? What more can be said? Devil. Not only looking to get his first victory, but looking to shut the mouth of Gen X. Devil return, thinking he can make an impact here. And believing that he still got it in him. That's going to be interesting. Because both men are exceptional strikers. Who will prevail and prove they are the better? Here we go. Oh, looks like Devil getting the upper hand over Gen X. Oh, good DDT. Gen X is already doing the big bomb that happened with Buell Grip last week. Oh, big drop kick. Oh, look at this, look at this. There's the striking. Now we're seeing an actual striking match up in here. Oh! There's is Gen X now, look, now getting the advantage over Devil. Now, if I was him, I would keep... Oh, oh I, think, I think he was talking some smack towards Devil there. Oh! Showing him exceptional maneuvers right there. One! Only gets a one count off Devil. Look at this. Now, now Gen X is taking full control against the Devil. Gen X wanted this match to prove that he is the next generation. That this old generation needs to retire already. Though his first target is Devil. Oh, big DDT right there.
coming back in. Devil throwing Gen X to the corner again. Oh, big clothesline to the corner. Oh, oh, big parry line kick already. Here it is. One, two. Not a two count of Gen X. I'll, I'll even think. Genix is a little confused as well. He didn't expect that. Oh, here it is straight to hell! There's no way. One, two. Genix barely kicks out. Oh! Oh, vertical. Oh, big strike to the chest. Oh, devil. Oh wow, tossing devil aside like nothing. We do gotta admit, Gen X does have some exceptional strength in him. I mean hell, we just saw it. He just tossed devil like nothing. Oh! Double drop. Another big double drop. Last one. Look at this, look at this. Missed it there. Oh, but Gen, Gen X is not allowing him to get any control, get any advantage. Oh, here it is. Next gen. One, two, and Devil kicks out. Oh, here it is. Gen X looking for Devil to get back up so then he can capitalize. Oh, but Devil dodges and hits. Oh my God. Drops him with a big leg drop to the back of the head. And now the big strikes from Devil. Devil throwing into the corner. Oh, big shot there. Devil now again taking back the advantage. Taking advantage of this entire match again. Oh. Both men, I think both men dodged both attacks but now Gen X is taking control Gen X looking to oh tosses devil oh look at this again showing the strength Gen X has oh power slam again just displaying pure strength oh oh he almost kicked the devil. The devil caught it and he saw fucking. It was like a deer caught in headlights. One! No! Gen X quickly kicks out. Oh, big strike to the back of the head. Dodges the next strike. Look at this. Gen X. Oh! Good Irish backbreaker right there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, big kick right there. That should be it to put away the devil. One! Two! No! Devil is still kicking. Boom! Big knee shot to the head of Devil. Gen X spills it. Gen X spills it. This is the end. What is this? Oh! Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh! Not just in the arm. Oh! Oh! Devil's not having it. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Homage. Homage to the Phenom himself. Oh! Old school. Here it is. Straight to hell! Is that it to put away Gen X? One, two. No, Gen X kicks out. The crowd calling for one more time. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Even Devil can show off some strength that he has. Oh, here it is. Oh, the big knee strike. Is that it? 
The ref wasn't even stunned there. And Devil picks up his first victory here in PXT. Congratulations to the Devil for picking up his first victory here and proving that he deserves to be here in PXT. Alright, but now we're on to the next match. Now, this is an interesting one. The Giant Slayer going against the another legend, Justin, here tonight. Introducing first, the man that slayed a giant. A man that went to war against Super. He is now known as the Giant Slayer. G7. G7 displayed amazing athleticism against Super. Not hitting him with one, not two, not three, not even four, but five, if I remember the count, five fucking King Slayers to put down Super. And no, Super's 400 pounds. Now with that said, are we looking and possibly a future BXG champion in our mix. Let's find out. Because now, can he actually put away a legend? That's right, his opponent. Coming back from again the same amount of retirement as Devil, Justin returns here in PXT, Justin made an exceptional showing of him in the PXT Championship Tournament and he has pretty much done pretty well again against other people as well. Uh, almost, well no, he didn't really almost win in the Battle Royale, but honestly, I can see him in the future being PXT Champion. Hell, he already has the matching color shit. What words are there to say? Great question. I have no idea. Justin, so far has been proving that pretty much the reason why he really came back was so that he can prove that he does still have it, which he did prove in his debut match. But now he has even more reason to prove it because last week he did lose to Onyx. So I think right now he's just wanting to test the new blood out a little bit. And just so happens, G7 falls under the new blood. Oh! Doesn't thought he was getting advantage, but quickly G7 stops it and hits him! Oh my god! G7 not holding back at all, and oh! Hits a big suplex! Oh my god! G7 is not holding back! Anything! Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, I thought we were going to see another slam, but Justin quickly reverses it. Hits him with a big kick to the face. Now Justin claiming control of the match again. I think he watched some videotapes of G7. Because if you notice, he's attacking the leg. Probably to mess up Kingslayer a little bit. Now targeting the arm. Again, probably to... Fuck with Clean Slayer a bit. If your opponent can't use that limb, in this case the leg or the arm for King Slayer, big neck breaker! There's no way he's gonna be able to finish it out. And now look at this! Oh! Big dive from G7 to 
We do a legendary high flyer like Justin. My God. I think G7 is just now talking a lot of shit at this point because we just saw him hit the biggest high flying move ever. A disrespect from G7. That's a, that's another thing that's like crazy. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh look at this. Justin's going for all oh, the homage right there. Oh, but he's not done yet. He's going for the corkscrew. Oh, he missed the corkscrew. Oh, here is Joel. The jump shock. Here it is. Ref. Ref. Hey, yo. Hold up. Hey, hold up. Hey, he may be my brother, but nah, I don't condone that shit. What the fuck happened? Here it is. Oh, you're about to see. Oh, future shock. What is going on with the ref right now? I think the fans are booing too. They heard it. The, the ref is fucking counting slow. Man, I gotta fire the refs. All of them. Because holy fuck, they're not following the dress code. Not following the rules. Not doing anything. God damn. Here's just go over the pin. Oh, that was a quick count for him? What the fuck? Oh! Good bit. Grill barrel bulldog right there. Oh! Hits G7 with a crossbody. I'm sorry, I gotta be 100% for real. Dustin was out. Twice, I want to point out. Twice, he was out. Look at this. Look at this. I think G G7 is really trying to, like, overpower Justin. But Justin just comes back at it as well. Okay, G7 rolling to the outside. Justin going to the top. Probably looking to do something dangerous here. Oh, actually, no. This goes for the stop, but miss. Well, I mean, lands it, but. Boom. Dustin just hitting barrages to the outside right now. Those G7 back in. Sorry, I was eating pizza. That's why we got quiet there for a second. Oh, look at this. Justin now going to the top. He's looking to put away. I'm going up. Oh! Misses. Possibly the Huracarana he was setting up for. Oh, big power bomb right there. And oh, big suplex. My God, dude, G7 does not hold back. Oh, <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> My God. G7, I, I think this wants to be known as a slayer now. Because he's already a giant slayer. He's a king slayer. Now he's looking to be a legend slayer. Oh! Oh, look at this! Look at this! Oh, beautiful hair, Corona! Oh, tornado DDT. Sorry. One, two. The ref is cheating, dude. I'm sorry. That's quick ass pins on Justin's side. And now Justin uh, apparently taking control of this. I think my bro. I think Justin. Paid the fucking ref. <laughs> I think he paid the ref to do a slow pin count. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know what else it could be. Dustin has been known to cheat in his old uh, wrestling matches. Oh, beautiful move right there! Holy shit! And now Justin is taking full control. But look at this G7 looking to fight back too. 
But Justin still coming back at it as well. Oh, here it is. Sunset flip. Powerbomb! I think G7's done. Oh, here it is. I believe we're about to see a corkscrew senton! That's it. No, G7's not giving up. Justin's not happy with it either. It looks like he, he's ready to call that. He was going to go back to the top, but G7 got back up. Oh, look at this. Oh! A Coquina clutch. Is that Coquina? No. Kamora. The Kamora clutch. Oh, he almost hit the ref. This lifts up just there now. Whoa, into a suplex. Beautiful transition. Beautiful display of power. Oh! Now G7 coming back out of the crowd's loving it. The crowd is behind G7. G7 throwing Justin to the outside. This is always playing mind games. And now going in. Look at this. What is the oh those and joins the steps? Oh! Look at that. Look at Oh! Justin now coming back. Justin looking to make a comeback here. Oh! Almost hit it. Look at this. You got I gotta give props to G7. He's at least he's fucking fighting his ass out big chop to the face of Justin! No, everything is against G7. He doesn't give up. He's not giving up. Oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. King Slayer. Here it is. Is the record to count right now? One, two. And just like that, G7 picks up a win. I think the reason the ref kicked normally that time is because Justin almost kicked his head off. And just like that, G7 picks up another win under his belt. Holy crap. Honestly, got to get props to G7. I remember when he first debuted, we thought he was nothing. Damn, he is proving to everybody here that he is the next big thing. Now he can put under his belt the Legend Slayer. But now it is on to our final match. So, so these are wrestlers I have no creative... Um, like thing apart at all. Like I wasn't involved with creating them at all. They uh, came with the post. We discussed it, all that stuff, and we had these two men signed, and that is why they are main eventing here in PXT. So also just let y'all know if you guys want those wrestlers in PXT, go ahead and hit up the post that's either on Xbox, which hasn't came out yet, will be coming out at the end of this show, or come on down to Twitch tomorrow around 12 p.m. And we're going to be going live so that y'all guys can see if y'all want to get y'all's uh, characters in PXT. And if so, we do get even just two signees for that week. Y'all guys will main event PXT. But yeah, thank you, thank you guys for watching. But here we go into the final match of the night. Jake Lawler versus Pierce Perch. Introducing first. Don't know where he's from, but introducing Jake Lawler. Honestly, was glad that two people uh, hit me up because I I do want to do this more often to where we have other creative wrestlers come into PXT and they can main event here tonight, especially if we get two. And if we get even more, we can actually start a tag team division as well. Uh, I want to start a tag team division probably when we get 40 wrestlers in here. Right now, we are at 18 with these new signees. So, to help us get to that goal, 
guys have wrestlers that you guys want to see on YouTube and display here on PXT, come on down with your characters. We got y'all. And like a damn free basin, I'll run this nation. All are coming and making his PXT in ring debut here. Looking to make a name for himself here and looking to possibly become a future PXT champion. So, also want to point out that this is like last week. This is a division pick first. That is what this is. So, it's a draw pick match. In other words, whoever wins gets the first drawing for the either the PXT title or the PXT YouTube Championship. Now introducing the big money maker. That's right, Pierce Perch. Now, one thing I could say about Pierce Perch mainly is that he is the biggest talk around the world. He's been everywhere. He's been anywhere. And God, everywhere he goes, he makes the move. And now he's here in PXT, not just to make a name for himself, but to make the big bucks, to make the big money here in PXT. He claims to be the GOAT anywhere and everywhere. Now can he prove it here tonight? Final match of the night, we have Jake Lawler, Pierce Perch. Who will win? Let's see. Oh, look at this. Lawler already getting the first shot. And getting Pierce with a suplex. Lawler, oh, look at this. Look at this. Rick, this raking in the face of Mr. Perch. Lawler is taking full control of this match. Pierce is, is now, right now, struggling to get anywhere in oh look at this oh look at this look at this Lawler is just going everywhere oh there it is Perch now looking to make some offense but oh Lawler again holding him down look at this Lawler is keeping the pressure on as much as possible on the moneymaker Perch the goat of anywhere and everywhere Oh, look at this. Oh, there it is. Now we're seeing some offense from Mr. Perch. Oh, Mr. Perch getting him up. Oh! Big pedigree, but Lawler not, not selling. Oh! Oh, I think he I think he meant to land that, but it's still, still not as bad as what we thought was going to happen. Oh, there it is. Oh, man, Lawler is just taking full control of this match. Here it is. One, two, no. Nothing right now, Mr. Perch. Mr. Perch is really, really struggling to keep in this match. Right now he has advantage, but Lawler has just been pure offense from beginning to end of this match. Oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful suplex. Look at this. Lawler is just, oh, decimating Pierce Perch here. Oh, big knee shot to the face of Perch. And look at this. Oh, look at this now. Lawler attacking the knee. Oh, big stomp to the chest. Lawler, man, Lawler is just making an impression here tonight. Oh, oh my God. That was a suicide dive that turned into a tornado DDT. Beautiful. Oh, look at that raking the back of Mr. Perch. Lawler not giving a big super kick to finish it off. Lawler is not holding anything back. He is going all in here in PXT. Oh, there it is. Big gut shot right there. Oh, there it is. Now Mr. Perch doing something. Oh, a lift up inverted DDT. Oh, but Lawler, not even close to hurt, not even close to harm by that. Oh, there is Lawler going back into the ring now. Wanting to finish this by a pinfall. Not going to take that ring out count win. Elbow to the back of Mr. Perch. 
Oh, I think Lawler is looking to end this match once and for all. Oh! Pierce reverses it. He was about to hit injustice. Oh! In law, no, in law sounds weird. <laughs> Look, man, I'm trying. To oh, there it is! Law and order! Here it is! One, two, no! Mr. Perch still going. Pierce Perch trying his best. Oh, there it is! Is he finally gonna bring in some offense here? We've seen nothing but Lawler in this entire match. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, look at this. Oh, exceptional showing right there. Exceptional showing we're seeing right now from Mr. Pierce Perch. Oh, oh, beautiful suplex. Oh, is that enough? One. No. Honestly, Pierce is going to have to do a lot more than that because it has been nothing but Lawler this entire match. Oh, big suplex right there. Oh, not there. Oh, look at this. Hit him. This submission hold. I've actually never seen this before. Oh, oh, but Lawler not giving up, not giving in. Oh, big knee shot there. Wasn't enough to drop him, though. Oh, here it is. Here's throwing him. Oh, they changing it into a powerbomb to the outside. I don't know how the hell Lawler's still going. Pierce Perch. Oh, look at this Pierce now piercing the knee of Mr. Lawler. Jake Lawler, Pierce Perch, the main event here tonight in PXT. Honestly, Lawler may have used all his energy and now Pierce is taking advantage of it because Pierce hasn't thrown in any offense and now he's going all in. That is a veteran type move there and oh, big shot. Oh no, oh, big knee shot right there. Powerbomb into the biggest knee shot I've seen. Oh, Lawler reversing, Lawler reversing. Look, I think Lawler's looking to make a comeback but oh, Pierce punching him straight in the face. Oh, Brain Buster! Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh! I think he missed the move. Lawler now got the advantage. And Lawler trying everything he can. Oh, big suplex! Oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Ripcord clothesline! Here it is for the win! One! Two! And just like that, Jake Lawler picks up his first victory here in PXT against Pierce Perch. Beautiful display, beautiful powerhouse that we have seen from Mr. Lawler against Mr. Pierce. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to see where Mr. Lawler will be at. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Did Lawler secure his spot in the PXT division or did he secure his spot in the YouTube division? Let's find out. And with that, Lawler, you have won your first pick for which division you'll be in. And apparently, with this drawing, you have been placed into the PXT YouTube division, which means Pierce Perch, you will be in the PXT title division. Thank you too for joining in to PXT. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing us characters in the division. Either way though, thank you guys for watching this episode of PXT. If you guys again want to see us characters in here, PXT, either come on down to Twitch tomorrow, Monday, around 12 p.m. We'll be doing a PXT recruitment. Or if you guys have Xbox, you do have 2K23, hit up my post that I will be having out for PXT. Hit it there and uh, we'll talk about it and everything like that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out, take care, have a great night. Thank you guys for watching PXT. If I got time, I'm deadly. Never caught off guard, no, I'm always ready. I got a hand real steady. Look me in the eye and you'll see no hezzy.